Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. In this video, I will cover the learning path 5, which is Manage Authentication and Compliance, and the module 2 of this learning path that is Enable Organizational Access. I have already covered the Protect Identities in Microsoft Entra module in my previous video. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe it and uh, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates on my channel. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Well, the module 2 Enable Organizational Access covers the following topics. I will discuss Enable Access to Organization Resources, Explore VPN Types and the Configuration, Explore always on VPN and uh, then deploy always on VPN. When it comes to enable access to organizational resources privately or securely over the internet, then the first thing we need to do is setting up a VPN connectivity, be it point to site or also referred as client to site or site to site connectivity. The remote access server role is available in Windows Server and the role in Windows Server enables the server to terminate or route the VPN connections from external networks like the internet of course and this means it can handle incoming remote connections securely and route the traffic to the internal network resources with the help of the different tunneling protocols. We do logical grouping of technologies in the remote access. The remote access server role includes different services. It consolidates the remote access service, RAS, which provides the VPN services for remote users to connect securely. Routing, which facilitates the routing of network traffic between the remote users and the internal resources. We also have web application proxy, which allows a secure remote access to internal web applications without exposing the internal networking directly to the internet which means you need not to put the servers into the DMZ. You can keep your application servers within the internal network and with the help of web application proxy you can publish the applications to the internet. You can deploy the direct access and the VPN role services. The direct access is uh, the successor of the VPN. We will discuss about this in much more details in the upcoming topics and the always on VPN, a future proof technology for the uh, remote access and connectivity. The RAS gateway deployment options that we have is number one single tenant RAS gateway we can have which is a single VPN server that serves one organization or the client. We have multi-tenant RAS gateways where the VPN server that can serve multiple clients or organizations is used. We have direct access servers that provide always on secure access to the users in remote locations without requiring or initiating a VPN connection. In a nutshell, the remote access server role inside the Windows server lets you configure the VPN and direct access services for secure remote connections and the RAS gateway provides the flexible deployment options for both single and multi-tenant environments. When it comes to configure the VPN, we have different types of VPN and VPN configurations that we can do and this depends on the type of VPN we are using, point to site, site to site. In this context of VPN configuration here, we can say we have Windows VPN platforms that we can use. These VPNs are used by the applications to securely connect to the users, remote users and share the data. Well, the Windows VPN platform has built-in plugin which uses the native protocols for tunneling which are layer 2 tunneling protocol L2TP or point to point tunneling protocol or secure socket tunneling protocol SSTP or internet key exchange version 2. These are very commonly known tunneling protocols used by the VPN. 
takes advantage of all new Windows 10 VPN features. Whereas we have Universal Windows Platform VPN plugin platform, which is based on the UWP APIs and is available on all Windows 10 devices, desktop, phone, HoloLens, etc. We have the third party Win32 app also for this. We have Win32 NDIS kernel only for desktops, does not take advantage of the new VPN features. So it is advised to use the Windows VPN platform that is native to the Windows machines. Explore the always on VPN. When we say always on VPN, this means that as soon as you get connected to the internet, be it at your home or cyber, uh, uh, I mean, any um, cyber cafe or uh, coffee cafe or internet or anywhere you are. So as soon as you get connected to the internet, you are connected to your enterprise network securely and automatically without initiating a VPN connection. How it is done? This technology was introduced long back by Microsoft as direct access. The direct access was having few limitations in terms of flexibility or the scalability that have been uh, sorted by always on VPN features. Always on VPN is a direct successor of direct access and uh, it ensures that the users remain securely connected to the internal network whenever they are online which means they are connected to internet even when they are using the internet providing a seamless and persistent connectivity support for multiple devices always on vpn works with different types of devices that includes the domain joint devices non-domain joint devices which means work group or microsoft intra joint devices we get several benefits over the VPN solutions with this, like always on VPN offers the advantages as simpler deployment. It is easier to set up and manage the uh, VPN as compared to the older solution, more flexibility for the clients. It supports a wider range of client devices and offers better control over the network connectivity. It reduces the help desk calls as well, where people struggle connecting to their VPN servers. Deployment and management tools we can use. Here we have actually the modern tools we can use. So unlike the VPN solution, uh, always on VPN uh, cannot be deployed and managed using the Active Directory or Group Policy. Instead, we use the tools like Microsoft Configuration Manager for this. So MECM, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager or MCM, and uh, formerly known as SECM, or Microsoft Intune. That is why we are discussing this topic here in terms of uh, uh, deployment of the always on VPN through the Intune. PowerShell can also be used to do the deployment and it provides more flexibility and the uh, modern management options you can say for remote access solutions. This is supported on Windows Server 2022 or later operating systems. Always on VPN uh, is supported on uh, 2022 or uh, later versions which provide the routing and remote access role uh, installed on that. And uh, in nutshell, if I conclude this, always on VPN provides a more advanced, flexible and secure remote access solution than the older VPN technologies. It is suitable for a range of devices. It requires modern management tools like the Intune and works with Server 2022 or later. To deploy the always on VPN, when you are preparing for always on VPN, you require the infrastructure setup that requires the Active Directory domain infrastructure, the public key infrastructure with the certificate authority services, the network policy servers, RAS gateway VPN, perimeter network that includes the two firewalls, the internal and external one to set up the DMZ area physical servers or the virtual machines on your perimeter network with two physical network interface cards and uh, that is used to install the remote access as a RAS gateway or VPN server. Membership in the administrators groups and management platform of your choice be it Intune, be it MCM, MECM, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager or the PowerShell. Well, this brings to the end of this module. I hope this was informative to you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel 
for more videos and updates. Thank you.